Okay, update for September 18th. Pulled the carrots up out of the uh, front yard. The carrots didn't do really good this year. I, I don't know what's going on. All those these here actually, once you can see there, don't look too bad. But there's a lot of these little short stubby forked ones in there, and you know just you know little guys like like this one here. So you know didn't have a good good crop for carrots this year, and uh, the last zucchini, which I don't know how that one's going to be fit to eat, but. And it's the very last one. They're all done. So, a little tour. Yep, still haven't put the plants in the ground yet. Still got eight, uh, eight, eight plants and pots that need to go in the ground. If I don't make it this year, we'll have to just store them in the basement, plant them in the spring. But we're making progress. So, here's where we started with the roses. Yep, I had a, another rose bloom. So... That's always a good sign. And my hens and chickens in there, I need to get the rest of them in the ground, along with the other 40,000 things I need to do before winter comes. Yeah, oh, looky there. A little rosebud there. He'll be full open tomorrow. So, roses seem to be happy. Okay, so I uh, pulled all the rock out of here in this corner. I know you can still see a lot in there, but. There, that rock, if you dig down there, you can dig forever and dig that rock out of there. Because when I when I moved here, they had a they had their dish set in there, and he had a, a post and concrete in there. And when I dug it up, you know, a lot of the rock and stuff went in there when I filled the hole back in. And at the time, I just didn't care. So I'm not going to dig down too far to no matter how far I dig, I'm going to get rock. So so there's a lilac bush and all the corner there. So I got all the rock out of here. I dug up my uh, blazing stars, got them out of here. So they're all gone. And there's the emerald and gold Euonymus. These come out. Found a guy at work who wants them. Matter of fact, my boss wants these things. So I'm going to probably dig these up Thursday for him. And the coral bell. Hanging out there. Living life large. I'm going to plant him in the back. So here's as far as I went down here. I need to clean this corner up here a little bit because i got to tie in to the uh, existing border there with the new border I've got. And we had a frost last night, so some of the uh, vegetables took a good hit. My uh, Well, you'll see here in a second. So here's the gladiolus, and I think those are irises, I believe. I don't know, but I'm going to dig them anyway store them over winter i know for a fact that my shamrocks won't make it because they didn't make it the last time i planted them so i'll have to dig them up out of there we'll plant them somewhere somewhere different next year yeah there's a lot of traffic on the high on the road here today because highway 3 is closed and they've routed everybody down c16 so so here are the blazing stars i put them out here where the the carrots and the zucchini was so I got them in there. I think I'm going to uh, plant my garlic this year right in the front there, I think. Uh, I've been trying to figure out where I'm going to put it, and I think I just figured it out. I'm going to put it right there. So there's the... Uh, that right there actually is a carrot. They're supposed to be biennial, and they're not supposed to produce seeds the first year, but uh, that one decided to bolt. And um, so we're going to collect some seeds off that, see if they're any good. I don't know if they will be or not, but I've already got seeds bought for next year anyway, so... And right there, barely see that little bug. It kind of looks like a ladybug on there. That's been the bane of my existence and many other gardeners this year. I don't know what it is. Haven't been able to figure it out yet, but they just love them green peppers. Well, they just destroyed my green peppers. And they kind of started in on my tomatoes. And I, I sprayed them for about two or three days straight and got rid of them. But you can see them working on the, that looks like, actually looks like a bee there. There's another one down there. Maybe if you know what they are, maybe let me know, but I don't know what they are. And here's the um, zucchini. It got bit by the frost, and it's really looking sad. So, out of the ground he came. So, that's it for uh, the tour of the front yard for today. So, I got. I still have to get my, uh, what is that, uh, spirea out of there. 
and my Euonymus. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. I think I'm going to probably get the Euonymus out of there. Or not the Euonymus. Darn it. Corbell out of there tonight yet to go. But I suppose I better go feed the dogs. So we'll see you guys later.